What is going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we take a little break from working on the Fiat Coupe and start working on the Porsche Cayman 981. <laughs> Today we're going to upgrade the brake performance using the parts right in front of me. Like these discs and some new pads. That's not a performance upgrade Joey, that's just some plain maintenance. Well compared to what's currently installed on the car, everything is an improvement. But we're not going to only install these parts, we're also going to upgrade the brake lines using these nice stainless steel performance brake lines from Goodrich. And on top of that, we are going to flush the entire fluid system using this nice Brembo fluid. Well, normally for brake maintenance you don't have to take off the caliper but as you can see I took off the caliper and made something to catch all the brake fluid because I have a different plan with the calipers but you will see that soon get to the store to buy this attachment because the rear decided to be a different type of tool a Torx T55 <sighs> great What do all performance or high performance Porsches have in common? Besides big wings, big engines, big turbos, a lot of carbon parts, they all have yellow brake calipers. I know, I know, carbon ceramic, blah blah blah. But I'm going to paint my calipers yellow as well for extra performance. But before we can do that, we actually have to take them apart and clean them because they're really dirty. And well, I think the previous owner was a little bit lazy. He painted the calipers and just taped off pores. And yeah, good to go, right? And then the back side is not even painted. It's only the half of the caliper. So let's correct that and do it right.
The calipers have been sanded and degreased, and it's time to apply three coats of 2K primer. The primer will act as an adhesive layer for the paint. After that the yellow paint is also applied in three coats. The paint I am using is a 2K caliper paint. Due to the cold weather, I let the paint cure for roughly 48 hours before we start reassembling them. Enjoy this little time lapse of all the new parts coming together. Now comes the best part of the video, the install of the new parts. But before we can do that, we first have to remove the old rotor and after that put on the new rotor, install the braided lines and then install the caliper. And that's one side done, three to go.
Oh God. Jesus. Brake calipers are finally installed and man, this looks good. The yellow really matches the color of the car and it just sticks out so much. Overall, everything looks fresh again and it's, can't stop staring. All that's left to do now is bleed the brakes and after that, we just admire the result. Sing for me sweet lullabies. Brake system is finally done. We flushed out this old fluid and as you can see it's really nasty and really brown. So it's a good thing we replaced that. All that's left to do now is test the car on the road and see if it breaks. If not there will be a rebuild <laughs> video. Let's hope not. But from what I can tell the pedal is really stiff now and only has about a centimeter of travel and it's really hard so that should be really good. No pun intended. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode, hopefully on the Porsche Cayman. And make sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram for some behind the scenes.